deeply disappointed with this watch and not only because this is my second one uh, because the first one broke within seconds of me taking it out of the box and winding it this is um, the replacement for the that watch get it out Ugh. okay and um, it's broken um, this, exactly the same problem as the first one so with it being a mechanical hand winding movement you've got to wind it every day or, or every other day i tend to wind them every day just to give it a few winds and um, this is their replacement uh, when i took the other one back they didn't even bother repairing it they just handed over another one and said okay we're just going to give you a new one because it was literally within um a few days from when i picked well when i got it uh, because I, I, take, I took it directly back to the hamilton dealer so they just gave me a replacement and this is a replacement and when i got it uh, i wanted to make sure it was fine so i started winding it wound it full wore it for the three days i didn't bother winding it again i just wanted to make it run throughout till it did a, a dead stop so i wound it once and just left it to to run down worked fine no problem whatsoever uh put it down and then started wearing some other watches and and um, not even some watches as, as as time went on and um picked it up again uh, after about three or four days started to wind it it was winding fine and then all of a sudden there was a very weird grinding noise like it was trying to get hold of the um the wheels and uh to to get it going but it wasn't actually kind of capturing it and then all of a sudden there was a and it just completely stopped again and this is exactly how it was so it was seven o'clock in the morning I, I woke up started winding it and this is what happened um completely stopped and um it, it was actually really weird because the second hand started to go backwards for about five seconds and then it stopped and then it wouldn't go backwards or forwards and um it's it's not doing anything so it's exactly the same problem as the first one now i know the this one has had this problem a lot of other people have said they um they've had this problem and uh yeah they're really disappointed really really disappointed uh there are a lot of people who've said they've had similar problems with this and yeah and not only because of that i'm disappointed i'm actually disappointed in the watch itself it this is the thing with watches is until you start wearing them it's, it's all great looking at pictures watching videos going to the store trying it on on your wrist for a few minutes and then buying it but when you actually have it on your wrist and you you're living with it day to day this watch for some reason i don't understand why because it is a i've had this problem with other watches that i really like i mean i do like this watch i like the uh, the dial is really nice uh, the layout's nice it's got it's very clear uh, the, the size is a little bit big i think it would have been nicer if it was a bit smaller the lugs i think are, are, are a thing that really kill it for me i think they're a bit too long for what it is um i didn't like the strap from day one i even said that but that's not really an issue because um i would it's easy to change enough so and i like the fact it's got drill lugs i like the finish of it but for some reason i don't like it which is very strange i had the same thing with the omega planet ocean a watch which i really liked everything about it seemed to just hit the right spots but when I actually have it in my hand and want to wear it, it's just one of those things that I just couldn't do. And this is the same same thing with this watch. I don't understand why the crown is the right size for winding every day. It's very strange. Um, it's a nice watch, but I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Um, one, because it's so fragile, it keeps breaking. And two, yeah i just i don't know what it is something about this watch which makes me not want to wear it i like the watch i like to own the watch but i don't want to wear it which is very strange so now i rang them up um, again the hamilton dina when um, it broke again and um, told them what happened and the, the, the lady on the phone said right, just bring it in so i'm going to take it in tomorrow but i actually said to us says, look i don't want a replacement because it's i could have the same problem and I've, I've other people have said to me like i said they've had the same problem 
So I said, either we have this one repaired, which I would rather have it done. If I'm going to keep it, I'd rather have this one repaired than have a replacement because at least that way they'll take it apart, they'll fix whatever needs fixing and they'll look at whatever else needs doing. And then I'll be a little bit more confident that it's not going to break again, fingers crossed. But I actually said to him, if that's not an option, um, well, option, option one really is I want to return the watch and put the money towards something else. Um, I'm not really that interested in getting a refund um, because I don't think it's worth it. Um, the watch itself is relatively cheap. Um, see, that's the other thing is, it's £395. Yeah, it's cheap-ish. There are other watches which um, I think are a lot better value. For example, this one. And this is another reason why I don't want to... I don't want to own this watch anymore because this one was, I think it was $295, which is what, 180 odd pounds, so literally half the price of this watch. I've not had any problems whatsoever with this. It's a hand winding, mechanical movement. Um, it's got the Seagull ST29, I believe it is, and um, it's a chronograph movement. Similar thing, very military style. It's smaller, it does have longer lugs, but it's a lot. they're a lot thinner. But I think because of this watch, it's made me not want to own this watch. Half price, better looking. Yeah, I think so. I think this one is a lot better looking as well. But yeah, so I think this watch has sort of put me off that one. So option A, I said to him, what I'd like to do is return this watch and put the money towards something else, put another one, which is going to be the Doxer 300T Sub. So I, from... From what I gathered, she was quite happy to do that because obviously the, the I'd have to pay the extra, which is going to be like £1,400 or something. So they're going to make a better sale out of, out of this. So I haven't actually had the 300 sub in my hand. That's the other issue. So um, they've got one in stock. So I'm going to go and have a look at it when I return this and then see how it feels on my wrist and, and take it from there. Um, the The... It could be a fact that where I don't like it. So if I don't get feel that that watch is a good fit for me, then I will just say to him, okay, if we're not going to do anything else, repair this one and then get it back to me. Uh, the, the other thing is, even if I get it repaired and have it back to me, I probably won't even wear it. So I don't know. It's it's one of those things. Um, if I do wear it, and then I'm always, it's always going to be back on my mind. Is it going to break? Is it going to break? Uh, and I wouldn't want to sell it on because is it going to break? And then somebody comes back to me saying, you've sold me a sort of faulty watch. So now it's very strange that this watch keeps breaking. And yet this one has run absolutely perfect. I really, really like this watch. This, And that's another reason why I don't want to wear this one because I'm constantly wearing this one. This is such a nice watch. Um, again, hand winding movement not had a problem whatsoever with it and I just it fits me so well where this one I keep saying that there's something about this watch which I don't like and there's something about this watch which just fits me perfectly I don't I don't know exactly what I mean the dial is a lot clearer and a lot nicer so it's a smaller watch it fits me better and I've actually been wearing it on a NATO strap, even though I don't like NATO straps. I think the NATO strap on this suits it really well. I have been wearing it on leather straps, but I'm, there is a full review on this watch to come. Um, uh, so uh, stay tuned for that one if you want to see that. But I would recommend this watch absolutely over this one any day. Um, it is, yeah, it's, it's double the price, but I think it's a much nicer watch. But I'll get back to that on in the full review. So this is going to go back tomorrow and then I'll see what happens but yeah very very disappointed and if you're thinking of buying one I'd think twice.